guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. Of course, I'm back here at Walker Ford in Clearwater, Florida because I have the all new 2020 Ford Explorer ST. But guess what? I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, didn't you already do an ST? Yes, I did. This one though has the performance brake option. But let's talk a little bit about this new Explorer. So this Explorer, totally redesigned, like I said, it is now sitting on a chassis that it has been developed for rear wheel drive. This though is all wheel drive and it's the first time that the Explorer has received Ford's ST emblem. It's not just an emblem though, it stands for sports technology. Believe it or not, the Ford en engineers have been able to take this large SUV, three row SUV, and make it handle and perform like no other. So let's go ahead, dive right into this 2020 Ford Explorer ST. First off, you should notice it's in that great color Ford Performance Blue. I love the way it sparkles in the Florida sun. Really digging what's going on with the headlight design. One of my favorite parts of it is I like the way it integrates into the grill. Nicely done. And it's all blacked out inside, which matches the grill. Now, as we work our way down, you have more lighting, and then you actually have a functional side air curtain. So it's not meant to look like a fake vent. It's gonna hit, the air's gonna hit here, and channel right into that curtain for aerodynamics. Now, as we come across this new grill design for the 2020 Explorer, my Zonk, you know what I'm gonna say, these stick-on emblems. I wish that they would recess them into the hood. Still have the emblem, still have the black, just recess it, make it look cleaner. Although, I am loving the grill. ST badge here, remember, sports technology. I like the open center area, and I also like the gloss black lower lip spoiler here that kind of extends just a tad out. Very, very massive, muscular front end. Now, as we go up onto the hood, you can see that nice C-shape indentation. Performance blue, I'm gonna say it again, I love it. It's one of my favorite colors in the whole Ford palette. As we come around the bend, you'll see that they took, this is gonna be a zonk on the ST. They took the flat black into the fender. I wish this was painted. What color? Say it again, yes. Ford Performance Blue would look much cleaner, but this is really the icing on the cake. That is a 21 inch gloss black wheel. It is part of the Ford Performance brake package. Look at the caliper, look at the rotor. That rotor is over 14 inches in diameter. It's the exact same setup that's on the police interceptor. Not only are you gonna get bigger brakes, bigger wheel, you're also gonna get performance springs and shock absorbers and thicker anti-roll bars. So this thing is gonna handle like the business, even though its business is a family hauler. Really crazy to think that Ford put an ST logo on the Explorer. One little touch I forgot to point out, there's the Explorer name. It's just the little things that they thought through that makes sense to me, and I like that. You have gloss black on the mirrors, and very, very smart to black out the A-pillar. Gives it a little bit more of a smaller appearance, perspective-wise. I really like the side of it, especially with the gloss black down here, the Explorer logo stamped into that flat black, but very muscular from front to side to back, especially this body line here. Probably one of my favorites on the vehicle. Now, as we get to the rear, you can see the continuation, of those 21-inch wheels, this large quarter window. Like the way that they have the gloss black, almost makes it look like one continuous piece. Very nice touch. Low roof spoiler, of course, the roof rails up top. You could use this to go to your camping site. The great news is you're gonna be the first one there with that EcoBoost twin turbo motor. Out back, you got the gloss black, nice touch to go with the front. Massive ST logo, and then as we work our way down, little bit of gloss black. This does have the full tow package on it, and you have your quad tip exhaust. My only issue is this part is fake. The exhaust comes out the bottom. Now, I know that it's because of fumes going into the back of the car or, or soot. If it's for soot, you might as well put guards on everything because you, part of owning a car is washing your car. So I don't buy the soot thing. Okay, is if, if exhausts are going in the back, I get it, but they can't create a better seal so the exhaust don't go into the car. But anyways, I do like the taillight design and I do like that there's quad exhaust. I just wish they were actually functional. But let's go ahead, pop the hood, and check out that new EcoBoost motor. 
All right, guys, we got the hood popped. I am going to zonk the prop rod, but what I'm definitely not zonking is what is underneath the hood. First of all, look at this massive strut tower brace going to stiffen up the front of this vehicle. What you're looking at is a three liter EcoBoost V6. So when I say EcoBoost, your reply should be twin turbo. It is a twin turbo V6, 400 horsepower, 415 pound feet of torque. It is a direct injection engine. It is made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission. This has 35 more horsepower than the outgoing sport. The weight from last generation. The weight of this is 4,853 pounds, zero to 60 in about 5.1 seconds, quarter mile in 13.8 at 101, and a top speed of 146 miles an hour. If you're wondering about MPGs, you're looking at 18 in the city, 24 in the highway. Let's go ahead, fire it up, and see what it sounds like out of that interesting exhaust. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Ford Explorer ST. I really like some of the updated finishes in here and the way that they've laid out this Explorer. You're probably wondering, well, Joe, I need something with three rows, but I also want to be the first one at the grocery store or the first one dropping off my kid. How much is this Explorer ST? The way you see it option with the big brake uh, performance pack, you're talking $57,000. What do you get for that kind of money? Let's go to the door panel. So on the door panel, very classy. I like the black leather. I like the white contrast stitching. The brushed aluminum speaker covers gives it an extra nice taste and flavor to it. Other than that, the lower portion is a little bit on the plain side, but it is usable for cups, maps, books, a baseball, a hat, maybe even have a bat. You could kind of put it there if it's sleeping during the day. But anyways, soft material on the dash. The dash is really far forward. I do like this almost like faux carbon fiber, but it's really not trying to be faux carbon fiber. I'm, I'm okay with it. What I'm not okay is with the fitment issue. These gaps here, I'm zonking them, are a little bit too much space there. I could put about five credit cards and just have them held right there. But I do like the shape of the AC vents. And this is the new, love it or hate it, 10-inch infotainment system screen. It does make the Explorer feel more 21st century, and I promise you, you will get used to it as time goes by, but you can see you have your navigation and whatnot. Let me put it in the reverse so you can see the backup cameras, kind of on the smaller side. That was something that let me down when I first put it in the reverse, but I'll put it back in the park. Controls are easy to get to, obviously touchscreen. I do like the flat black. Here are your radio controls. You also got cameras. Cameras on this, so I hit the camera button, there we go, you can see around the vehicle, switch the different options, look at that, out front, nice, panoramic, very good. Drop back down, you have your dual climate control, heated and ventilated seats, and a heated steering wheel. I like the silver finish down here, you push the button, oh, up she goes, you have USBs, a 12 volt, nicely placed, I'll put that back in there, whatever that was. This is your rotary dial. Now, at first I hated these, I'm understanding them a little bit more. It really cleans up the area here. This is for the 10 speed automatic. You got a place for a phone, two cup holders, electric e-brake, and then this little guy here is gonna give you your different modes and whatnot. And that's what's really wonderful about this Explore ST. Tons of different modes to make it special to whatever your driving is. Nice padded armrest with the stitching. We open this up. You have wireless cell phone charging here, and then you have a little bit of a tray. You could put anything from, I'm gonna say circus peanuts, or those caramel, uh, caramel cubes, you know, those Brock's cubes, or maybe even the root beer uh, jug things. Those, those would go real good in here. But anyways, put that back just like that. Lots of room in there, which is nice. And then these seats are nice, I'm telling you. ST uh, logo, the stitch work, ventilated, heated. They're supportive without hurting, and they're comfortable without being soft and cushy. Tons of headroom in here, but at $57,000, Where's my panoramic sunroof? Now that is an option, but I think we'd all agree at 57,000, it should be in this one. Coming over to the business then though, I'll show you behind the wheel of this Explorer ST.
All right, guys, business side. I love the Ford Performance badging down low. I also like the full adjustability electric assist of the seats. Really get it to fit your body. Steering wheel, I'm taking it home with me. I'm actually gonna hang it on the wall. I like the style, I like the stitch work. ST badging, flat bottom. The buttons are easy to get to. You do have paddles to go up and down the 10 speed. They are plastic though, so I'm zonking that. This should have the magnesium ones out of the Raptor for $57,000. Dash, check out the 12 inch TFT digital display. Watch this, we have different drive modes. So you twist the knob, you have trail. You see those rocks? That meant trail, that didn't mean Rocky Road ice cream. You keep twisting it and you can go to slippery. Look at that, the ice forms, black ice, it's wet out there, you're sliding all over the place, not in your Explorer ST. You have normal, who wants to be normal though? Eco, hug a tree, hug a palm tree or whatever. Sport, that's my favorite. You see the checker flag, the red means race. You even have tow mode in this Explorer ST. The great thing is, is when you go into the different modes, not only are you gonna get some great images and a different display, it's gonna change all the parameters of how your Explorer ST functions. Pretty nice package up front. Let's go ahead, check out that mid row and see how your Explorer friends are gonna be liking being in that passenger seat. All right guys, mid row seat time in the 2020 Explorer ST. I'm so glad that they continue the stitch work and the nice seat um, material for your passengers. Now these do have the captain's chairs and I'm happy to say that the Ford ones are actually a little bit wider and they actually have the stitching. I'll pull this one down so Tom could show you the stitch work there. We'll reach it out of the way. You have a little command center here for your rear AC. Heated seats, but not ventilation. I'm gonna zonk that. You gotta have ventilated seats for the mid-row at $57,000. You have a home power source, two USBs, and a little cubby for a couple uh, ding-dongs or uh, Twinkies down there. And then you have another area for cup holders. You could actually put a box of Twinkies here. So if you're the type of person that puts a couple of those away every five seconds, have a box right here for you. Headroom is perfect. Tons of spaces, like I'm swimming in here. You got your AC vents up by your head. Some people like that, some people don't. But why don't we go ahead, wait, before we do that, Tom, we have to show them this slide. Tom was doing his leg workout today. He's not skipping leg day, even though we're filming. And guess what, you could really climb them. But let's go ahead, we're gonna now check out the third row. All right, guys, third row time. We're gonna go ahead and get into, as you see, just push the button, it slides forward, and then you're gonna use this nice plastic material to climb on in, here we are. And you can see, and I, what I'll do is I'll slide over so we don't have to pull this one back. You can see I got plenty of leg room even with the seat up. The problem is my knees are a little high, but the good news is I got plenty of headroom back here so I don't feel claustrophobic like I'm in a coffin. Also, I have the rear AC. My question is to Henry Ford III and the rest of the Ford Motor Company, where is my USB in the back row here? If I'm a kid and my phone dies, I'm gonna make my parents' lives miserable by crying. So my advice and the reason why I'm zonking it, I need a USB, one, at least one. But why don't we go ahead, we talked about the back row, let's see the cargo area. All right guys, tail on the business, you push the button right here, it even puts an arrow for the people who are oblivious. Nicely done, seats are up and we still have plenty of room. You even have storage underneath, which is smart. Those are things that you say to yourself, hey, they thought this kind of stuff through. Now here's the weird part. To get the seats to go down, you pull up on these tabs for the headrest to go down. I'm gonna actually swing around the camera here and we have a little command center. You have your 12 volts and then you go ahead and press here and there go the seats. One touch, drop down fairly quickly. I'm a fan though of just the tab where you just drop them down, one, two, three. But why don't we go ahead since we're talking about one, two, three, through the 10 speeds of this automatic transmission and take it for a spin. All right, guys, we're leaving Walker 4. We're in the 2020 Explorer ST. I have it in manual mode, and we are in also sport on throttle with the shifts. I'm telling you, you're going to be shocked at the acceleration of this Explorer ST with that EcoBoost motor. And it's interesting how you lose a little bit of displacement with the 2020, but you get more horsepower. 
That is the best part. 400 horsepower, that all-wheel drive system, and a chassis that's very, very balanced for being a larger SUV. Quite impressed with what the engineers have done. I would love to go out to Salt Lake City, Utah, do the Ford Performance Racing School with this Explorer ST. Now, I am still bummed out, and I'm gonna keep saying it over and over again until somebody hears me. I'm bummed out that they got rid of the Fiesta ST and the Focus ST and RS. But in the meantime, until they wisen up and bring it back, we do have some SUVs that are getting the performance given to them. And with this Explorer ST, it really is a separate thing than the outgoing Sport, the Explorer Sport. You're getting a lot more performance. We tend to think it has to be just big numbers. You know, everybody wants big horsepower number. Everybody wants uh, acceleration number. You're getting a, a better package with those thicker and roll bars. Here we are from a dead stop on throttle. Fast shifts from that 10 speed. You're getting that sound pumped into the cabin and I'm okay with that. You know, I used to be all about, oh, if it's not real sound then I don't want it, blah, 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 blah. You guess what? My, my brain doesn't know the difference that it's fake. So I'm just gonna go with it because it does sound nice and throaty but nothing too obnoxious and the shifts are very crisp and very deliberate which is what you want out of your gearbox that beautiful 12 inch uh digital display for the driver it looks great especially when you're in sport mode having the tack and the speedometer and of course if you're in sport we got to have what color yes you're right red because red means race and this is an explorer st that you can take to a track, believe it or not, and actually have some fun. But even in just regular traffic situations, very smooth, very comfortable, having the chassis set up for rear wheel drive actually helps you all the way around, whether you have rear wheel drive or all wheel drive like we have in this one. Of course, those massive rotors and calipers part of the performance brake package with those 21 inch wheels, I think this has to be one of the best SU, uh, best looking SUVs on the market currently. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it back into automatic mode and see the acceleration. There we go, on throttle. Steering has a great weight to it. And just like I pointed out when we were focusing on the interior of the review, the thickness of it is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Flat bottom, looking good, visibility, feeling great but let's go ahead and find a little twisty section to see how this ST handles. Alright guys we have it in manual mode I'm using the paddles let me go ahead and switch lanes here so we can see how this Explorer ST handles because I'm telling you at the end of the day it's gonna blow your mind are you gonna go win drag races with this? No but you are definitely gonna have an SUV that can handle like no other and brake like no other. Very smooth, remember this is a three row passenger SUV, here we go. We're gonna try out the brakes in a second here from sixth, fifth, fourth, third. Tip it in, that all wheel drive bites, look at this. Look at that, nice. Wonderful, look how smooth, that's the great thing, is that if you notice, it was so smooth, that power delivery, even though it's a turbocharged engine, having the twin turbos, being on the smaller side, you don't have to wait for the boost to build up, the power is so linear, and there was no braking of traction. I was literally stuck, like if Henry Ford picked up this Explorer, put some glue on it, and then set me back on the road, that's how it was. So thank you, Henry Ford, we're putting some sticky glue on the tires because I'm telling you, this thing sticks like no other SUV. But we'll try it once again, third, fourth, third. Try second here. Very nice, going around. Gotta watch out for other vehicles, of course, especially here in Florida, because as you can see, we don't know how to drive very well, some of us at least. 
very, very, the power delivery is unbelievable. Seats are comfortable, very supportive. I love having the ventilated seat option. Love having them heated as well for when it's colder out. But the steering just feels on point, just perfect. And that sound, really, really nice. One more time, just for good luck. That's what I always say. On the brakes, third. Down to second. That front bites, here we go. Coming around. Look at this. Sticks. Perfect. But anyways, hopefully this showed you. I really wanted to focus on what is the performance advantage of going the ST route with your Explorer, getting that big brake option with the obviously larger brakes and those 21 inch wheels. I say check that box off if you're gonna go this route. But we're gonna go ahead, wrap this one up and get back to Walker Ford. So I'll see you in a split second. All right guys, it's been a wonderful day here at Walker Ford, driving this Explorer ST, especially with those 21 inch wheels. Loving it, loving the Ford Performance Blue. Are there things that I would change? Of course, but you know what? I think Ford took the next generation in the right step. They just need to do a little fine tuning and I think they have an SUV that has definitely a bunch of power, but also a very nice interior. But I definitely gotta thank Frank Walker, Western Walker, Tracy, Benji, Mark, Austin, the whole crew, so accommodating here at Walker Ford. If these are the types of things that you like to see on the channel, leave a comment in the comment section. If you are new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you wanna help us keep pumping out content day in and day out here on Radies Rides, click the link in the description, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Gotta give it at the Big Guns McGee. He actually has a weightlifting competition that Frank Walker is gonna drive him to with this. So Frank, uh, Frank is excited and so is Tom. And just like always guys, I'll see you on the next ride.